Hello everyone, it's Hezekiah Chapman. If you guys would like to book any private readings with me, you want to book classes with me, you can click on my social media links that are on my YouTube page. It'll take you directly to where you can get in contact with me. It will be me. Um, and then we can go from there. If I don't reply to you immediately, don't feel bad. I will get to you as soon as I can. Today, this video is going to be about astral traveling at night. So as you know, I'm doing two videos a day. So I'm going to be putting this video up first, which is astral traveling at night. And then there will be another one, which is the more advanced one, astral traveling in the day. <clears throat> this technique involves affirmation, spoken mantra, but it's mental. You don't have to say it out loud. You just repeat it in your head. And really what mantras do is they just instill a specific outcome into your head. It's more so like a spoken spell. And it allows you to have easier access to leaving your body. Over the years that I've practiced this and used this technique, it's definitely been something that was very effective. So an affirmation is really just an easier, you know, an easier, more simple way of saying I'm psyching myself into this, if that makes sense. Because in a, it, in a sense, it is kind of psyching yourself into it. Because you're telling yourself that you're going to do this. You're telling yourself. And if you tell yourself enough that you are great, you are this, you can fly, you are this, eventually that's going to be something that starts to manifest within your reality. <clears throat> that's going a little too far into things. We're doing mental manifestation first, which is why we're doing these affirmations. And also because astral traveling and lucid dreaming it's just such a popular subject with all you guys and you guys would you guys want me to put up these kind of videos so here we are so the way that i have used the technique is i've used i am going to be an astral traveler i am an astral i am an avid astral traveler i'm going to astral travel i'm going to astral travel and that's that's it or I could switch, I'm going to astral travel with, I have astral traveled. Or I will astral travel. These work, they're guaranteed to work. I recommend not watching television before you do this. If you're going to, if you decide you want to use the technique and you want to give it a shot, I recommend not watching television before you go to bed not being on your phone screen before you go to bed. Um, during the day, it doesn't matter. But before you go to bed, you want to make sure that you don't have any kind of um, <clears throat> interferences. Because those things will interfere with your subconscious mind if you've watched TV before, or you watched YouTube before you go to bed, or you were on a bright phone screen before you went to bed. You don't really have to repeat these things all throughout the day, but you just repeat it you know, at least 15 times a day, which that isn't much at all. And what will happen is you'll end up falling asleep when you go to bed, but it will definitely be not a dream, but you within another world. And you'll know that it's not a dream because of the fact that the types of entities, the types of backgrounds, the, the world that you'll be in is not, it's, it's not anything that's extremely spontaneous. There's not a bunch of random things that are happening. They're well-established worlds, buildings that you can walk into, archives that you can look into, guides that you can speak to. When you're in the astral realm, you'll know that you're there. You know that you're there. It's, it's very safe. 
it's considered to be a lot safer than tra astral tra just making yourself astral travel and pushing yourself to go out of body while you are conscious. It, it is considered to be a lot safer for those of you who are worried about <clears throat> safety and, you know, the dangers. There's not really many dangers when you're doing this method. And this method is more so for those who are beginners and don't have the um, skills of visualization. It's a lot easier to do it this way. So there you have it, guys. I'll just repeat it one more time. I'm going to be an astral traveler. I am an astral. I am an avid astral traveler. I have astral traveled. Those three things, repeat those in your head at least 15 times a day and before you go to sleep. And this is something that will get you to that point of astral traveling. <clears throat> Have a good day, guys.